morning everyone good morning good morning good morning good morning jyoti rahul pratesh ravan irendra please unmute yourself everyone morning shravan unmute hi good morning shravan unmute virendra unmute okay so before we start the session welcome aboard everyone uh, to this course of pt of 20 sessions we will start the session today with a programmed prior plan that we have for you uh, we have some guidelines uh, that needs to be followed by every one of us who are sitting here as well as the people who are on the online please make sure that the moment you log in try to put yourself on mute because i heard people talking and it was been heard you know somebody was talking to somebody you know uh, about his work or at home or something so please mute yourself the moment you log in second thing is uh, try to log in 10 minutes before the session starts so that you know you in case of any technical issues you will be able to resolve them everybody who is logging through online should make sure that you are Uh, you have at least four Mbps uh, connectivity, so that you will not have any kind of interruption through the sessions. Say so, a uh, third thing is we will be providing an LMS that is learning management system tool, which is for your practices. The people who have joined recently, I mean today and yesterday, for the you people, the LMS uh, username password will be provided by the support team in a day or two day uh, time, where you can access your practice material. now we are showing you the contact details of our support team in case of any kind of request that you have make sure that you may call uh, the number which is given above that is 7670800000 uh, that is after that you will click on one and then the extension number that is 111189 and 111190 and please take the screenshot of this particular slide because it's very important every day we might require something or other in order to get in touch with the support team the email addresses are also mentioned with the name of the representative who will help you to uh, solve any issues or answer your questions accordingly everyone please take the screenshot the number is not working i tried tried to dial the, the same number but after dialing did you click on one yeah no uh, soon after i dialed it uh, it was saying uh, you haven't dialed the existing number Okay, so after the uh, class, just talk to your consultant who just spoke to you and give the same information to them. All right, and the email addresses I've also mentioned here. Please write uh, to the email addresses mentioned so that you will be in a position to answer it accordingly. Well, let's go to the today's session before we begin. <clears throat> so, welcome aboard for the PD Pro program. My name is Anthony, and I, uh, on behalf of Y Axis Coaching, welcome each one of you. For, for this program of 20 uh, hours and 20 days so here we require a huge amount of understanding about between you and me so that we can take this course a little more interactive i don't want a session which is boring which is like giving a lecture in the college or something like that i want you guys to interact ask me questions get them clarified and get and start practicing we will do a lot of practices in this sessions rather than me teaching like those school teachers so i don't want to become a school teacher we will learn practice enhance and start working on each and every level that we have to work with let's move on sir i'm being helped by a broadcaster who is going to be changing the slides for us and while we are moving ahead so today we are going to talk about the companies uh, about the company and then i will tell you how to log into your learning management system and about the course and then we will talk about different types of modules and start with at least one from the speaking module so let's move on the people who are not muted please mute yourselves everyone rahul and mohammad kashif please mute thanks a lot so why access started way back in 1999 since then we have been only developing and making ourselves available and more prominent in the industry and in our country we are uh, i mean since 1999 today we have been um, graded as one of the one, uh, number one immigration consultants with a huge strike rate in the study purposes to various countries we are also known as one of the expertise in the documentation for visa and also just to give you a small count you know though it is a rough count we have sent approximately more than about uh, one and a one a uh, one lakh or one and a half lakh people for work visas in different locations 
and the milestone with coaching. In one year, when we started our uh, operations way back in 19, uh, 2016, uh, in the month of July, we started our operations in the month of August, and the training started in August. And since then, till now, we have already cost about 3,000 candidates whom we have trained. And these are some of the add-ons that you are in one of those add-on numbers. So in this one year, we have already done a huge amount of 3,000 3, people we have trained. And it's a great, huge achievement because people believed in us. And at one point in time, we also delivered the quality and the time and the deliverables. Thank you very much. And let's move on, Srika. Now, there are some features that uh, our program has been designed. One is live streaming, which people are getting connected from different locations and being a part of the session and as if it is going to be a session where they are physically present. And that's how our live sessions are being streamlined, where you can see the tutor, you can see the content we are sharing. You would also be able to use the tool which we are going to practice as and when we keep moving on. Flip classroom means we at the end of every session, we are going to keep you updated with what we are going to be doing next day. At the same time, you will also be aware of what module is happening on week on week basis. In case we miss out on any session on a particular day, we know that what happened on that particular day so that we will not get ourselves, you know, in a blank area or a darker area where we say, that, okay, I don't know what was happening yesterday. So please keep yourself updated and be regular to the sessions. And learning management system is the tool that we provide where we have some practice materials where you can practice along with the tutor, practice on your own in a leisure time. And this is for 60 hours of sessions. I mean, practices, uh, this particular link will be activated and will be active on your IDs. So please make maximum use of 60 days. 60 days, right? So 60 days. 60 days. 60 days is what this will be active. So go ahead. And, and use them for 60 days. That starts from today. All right, next. So this is where we have to log into our LMS. I'm going to show you how it is. I believe when you joined or when you inquire, started sending some inquiries to Y-axis, you might have gone through this particular Y-path uh, screen where you have seen something like Y sign up. Now Y sign up is this particular screen where you need to find, uh, you know, um, or type in your information to join as a new registration. Number one, once you fill in, your ID will be created automatically, which you use your contact number and your email address. And please remember, when you have joined us on this particular link, you might have received some call from our team in order to communicate what you were looking for. Now, the next stage in this is now since you've already a registered member, we will be, you will have to click on the login button, which you see on the slide right now. And while you click on this login button, it will take you to the login sheet where you need to type in your email ID and the password credential, which you have created. Or if you haven't received anything and not able to log in, please check your emails. When you registered, you will get an acknowledgement mail where you will have a login credentials for the LMS or through your mail. If you are not able to see them on your inbox, please check in your spam uh, folders. You will be able to find a mail. In case, even then, if you are not able to find them, feel free to email us. We will get in touch with you, call you, and uh, create that ID for you and give you uh, for your practices. And once we log into the screen, it will take us to the next sheet, which is this, which you are able to see here in the step four. On this screen, you will have different tabs. You'll have different tabs like migrate, coaching, study, work, and visa. So you can find every information possible, but our purpose in LMS usage is coaching. We need to click on coaching, and when we click on coaching, we have been taken to this particular screen where you will see PT Academic. So you need to click on that link, and it will take you to the next stage. This is how your homepage will look like, where you need to select your program, that, that is PT. Now, since this is something, a sample one which we are showing, it also shows IELTS. So, when you are logging into your screen, you will find them in different modules and different sections. For example, if it is reading, writing, listening and speaking, you will find four such pictures showing up, representing each of such tasks. And the most important part here is, 
each section, by clicking on each section, it talks about all the five sessions that will be covered under those categories with assignments, with audios, and uh, with instructions and tips and strategies. Let's move on. This is the ambience of our classroom. The people who are in the classroom will be able to experience this ambience. This is not only a classroom, but this is a broadcasting center where we also have a small studio kind of a thing, which is broadcasting your, your, your sessions online. Move on. So this is how our other part of the classroom looks like. So without the tutor and the lightning that is showing up on the tutor. Move on. So welcome aboard uh, everyone. YAXIS takes the great pleasure in welcoming each one of you because you dreamt and we are making it happening, uh, are going to happen with your practices with every session that we would make. Thank you very much and have a wonderful time with us and also learning should be your main primary object objective. And please remember, the more you practice, the better you become. So every course requires a huge amount of practice. Techniques, tips will be taught by us. You will be working on them. However, practices will make you definitely better. So introducing to the PowerPoint presentation of the course. In this, we talk about computer-based exam. So PT is a computer-based exam and the duration is going to be for three hours. Hence, we need to also remember that we have only one break in between after the section three or part two. Okay, so we will see how it is work, how does it work and so on and so forth. Let's move on. Now here we look at uh, the course which has a different purposes. Now this course is used to for, uh, you know, a certificate is used for study abroad, work or immigration or even applying for a PR. So everybody have their own credentials or have their own priorities. At the same time, every part of this core is valid for a particular purpose. For example, if a person is going for an education purpose and if he's going for a master's program, and the total number of scores should be 90. So the person should secure at least 58 marks in order to qualify to get an admission in any other country. However, there are some universities who also accept less amount of scores. So I'm talking about the benchmarking of the uh, examination, which requires a huge amount of contribution and the performance to get best of the admissions in any of the countries. And the countries that uh, accept these, uh, you know, except uh, 58 marks are majorly Australian countries. Okay, Australia, New Zealand, except PT. In some places in uh, US, very few uh, places, PT has been accepted. However, this is just an overall understanding about it, but to know more accurate information about it, which other countries accept or do not accept, please consult your consulting officer and they would be able to guide you in the right pattern, whether IELTS, PT, or whatever may be the needs, right? Now, uh, <clears throat> the four modules that we have in PT are reading, writing, listening, and speaking. They are divided into three different parts. Part one comprises of speaking and writing, and the overall time will be approximately between 77 to 93 minutes. However, when we look at reading part, it would be between 32 to 41 minutes and listening will be 45 to 57 minutes, sometimes 40 to 45 minutes, depending upon the examiner and the number of questions that you will be asked in each and every category. Yes. Any questions? Any doubts? Next slide. Uh, hi, uh, this is Rahul. I have yeah. a question. Yes. Uh, first of all, I didn't catch your name. I'm sorry. Anthony. Anthony. Okay, uh, Anthony, uh, this PT academic, uh, so for the immigration purpose, uh, like what we have in IELTS, there's a general format and there's an academic format. So is academic the only thing available for PT uh, for immigration as well as education or is there a difference? No, there is only one examination with Pearson's PT that is only academic at this moment. See, general is available, but not for uh, our countries. It is only for some countries like Germany and uh, some of the European countries. That is, they have a specific reasons for that. So yet, as of now, general has not been introduced in any other country. So academic is valid for both immigration and study. Okay. Yeah. So for immigration, how much do you You need to have 65 minimum and 66, uh, 65 in all the modules. 
So that is the major criteria. Now again, that is a benchmark. Now again, depending upon your scores that you have already got through your evaluation. So it differs and it uh, your counselor will be able to tell you how much you need to have in order to get your uh, visa approved. <clears throat> okay. Now the product delivery, as we just spoke about, we have 20 sessions that would be conducted each day. We will have between Monday to Friday and every day it would be a one hour session. We will be taking you through different modules. I will also tell you how we are going to take it. Now, uh, first week we will start with speaking, second week writing, fourth, third week reading and last will be listening. This is the sequence of the exam as well as our course. We will also be taking you through different subtasks and understanding, making you understand as well as practice. Say more than understanding, we need to practice to get used to them because we are interacting with a computer. So when we interact with a computer, we got to make it happen where computer can understand you, you as well as you understand the computer what it requires. <coughs> Next, while we are moving ahead, we will also give you instant feedback then and there to everyone while we are practicing. We also understand that, you know, everybody is not born perfect. We have to make mistakes only then we are we can correct and overcome our mistakes to ensure that we will not repeat them, but may master the perfection in order to give the best of the results in our examination. Am I clear everyone? Hello? Yes. Yes. Now yes, let's move on. Now, PTE, uh, when we look at PTEs, uh, we start with something called introduction. So, personal introduction is one such criteria where you need to introduce yourself with your name and age, your qualification or the profession that you are in, which country you are planning for, why that country should give you an opportunity. All these information has to be spoken pretty quick and clear in the microphone within 30 to 35 seconds. Within 30 to 35 seconds, which is not evaluated for sure. but Still, this is a mandatory part way before we start the actual examination. In the actual examination, in speaking, we have five different subtasks starting with read aloud, followed by repeat sentence, describe image, retail lecture, and finally answer short questions. All of them are evaluated to be given as a speaking question score. And what is it going to be evaluated? It is pronunciation, oral fluency, and the content, which will go in depth of understanding how it works as we are progressing with our learning from today onwards. Let's move on. I'm also going to talk about a little bit of scoring, how we are going to get. So here, when we look at this particular slide, we talk about read aloud. So read aloud where you will be given a paragraph. A length of the paragraph will be approximately around 60 words. It can be less, it can be not be more than 60 words. So it can be less, it can be equal to 60, uh, 60 words. So you will get the first 40 seconds to look at the paragraph. And after the 40 seconds, you get a beep sound. Immediately after you hear the beep sound, you should start reading the paragraph, which will be still remain on your uh, computer screen. But you need to be clear, proper pronunciation uh, within 30 to 40 seconds. Within 30 to 40 seconds. That is for each paragraph. Okay. Here we have to take care of our pauses. So where should I pause, how long should I pause, and what are the other areas, we will uh, try to understand in the coming slides and the practices. The next thing is repeat sentences. You'll get approximately about 7 to 10 sentences, which you'll hear. You will not see the sentence on your computer screen, but you will hear one sentence at a time where you will listen, and immediately after the audio stops, You'll get a beep sound. You need to repeat exactly the way the sentence was spoken in the microphone. And that's what is repeat sentence all about. Likewise, you'll get about seven to 10 approximate sentence. Now, what would be the length of the sentence? What could be the length of the sentence? The length of the sentence can, desired, can, can be ranging between eight to 12 words approximately. Sometimes it's less, but not less than eight for sure. But you know, eight to 12 words approximately is what you will be able to hear. What uh, you need to repeat them back in your microphone. Am I clear, everyone? Hello? Yes. All right. The next thing that we'll have to look at is describe uh, image. Sorry. Uh, one question. Sorry. Yes. Sorry to disturb you. No, no, not uh, at all. So, I, uh, Anthony, the repeat sentences. Uh, so, uh, do we have to uh, do we have to repeat the exact sentence grammatically, or uh, would it? 
could it uh, differ a little bit and w w with the same meaning of course uh, but uh, grammatically say it the other way no, no. whatever the sentence we hear has to be repeated exactly the way it is okay perfect yep now describe image when we talk about describe image so how we'll length is that same? as i said the length of the sentence will be 8 to 12 words okay got it yeah Seven to ten sentences. So in that they'll ask any man. No, no, all. All, all, all. There is no choice. Everything is mandatory. All right. Describe image. We would be able to see about six to seven images. One after the other will be shown up. Sometimes it will be a line graph, map, maybe a pie chart, table. Maybe it could be a picture. Maybe it can talk about a combination of a pie chart and a line graph, um, a map. Uh, or something like that which you will have to describe there. Now how long, what is the duration? You get only 25 seconds, the moment the say, uh, picture comes in, you get only 25 seconds to keep a watch on that. See what it is. And after you hear the beep sound, after the 25 seconds you hear a beep sound and you need to start describing them within 30 to 40 seconds for each such image. So make sure that we will practice, we will also understand how it should be working and what we should be doing. So when we practice, we will know how to do it. The only thing here is the more the practice, the better you become every day, right? And then comes retelling a lecture. This time it will be four to five audios that can be approximately four to five audios, one after the other. You will listen to that, make notes, and after each uh, listening and making notes, you will have to re uh, retell it in the microphone between 30 to 40 seconds. The length of the audio that you will hear will be 30 to 90 seconds approximately. While listening, you need to make notes. In short, we need to get used to note making techniques and the note making skills needs to be enhanced within ourselves. And we need not write every word that has been spoken, but we need to write the important points, words, which has been used and try to comprehend words. Uh, your chance comes in in order to retell them, keeping the context intact. Grammatically correct, everything else follow, follow into that particular category. So you will get one after the other, approximately around four to five audios would be heard and you need to respond it accordingly. Finally, we come across something called answer short questions where you will be asked questions of uh, oh, anything and everything related to general knowledge and general interest of the people in today's time, whatever we communicate. So where do we write our uh, complaints in the, uh, in the college? Complaint books. So complaint register. Complaint register, complaint books. So, it was said right. If I say, where do you drop your complaint, then you would say complaint box. Right. Now, for example, where do you have to uh, write the account number uh, in the pay slip at bank? It's on the top. It's on the top. You will have an option which is called? Yeah. Sometimes they would tell you that, you know, uh, is it okay if we... Uh, Maybe, you know, uh, what do you have to carry if you are entering into a library? ID card. ID. Library card. Library card or a membership card. Okay. Likewise, these kind of questions can be asked. Or they can ask you something about uh, what would come after September. Okay. So your answer should be between one word or it should be one line, not beyond that. Okay. And the number of questions will be approximately 7 to 10 questions. So you need to be asking one after the, you'll be asked one after the answer, um, uh, other questions. You need to answer them in the microphone, one word or in one line. Am I clear everyone? Am I clear? Yes. Yes, I'm done. Can you repeat? I, I, I didn't get you because your voice is breaking. Uh, can you repeat written lecture? Sure. So, read a lecture where you will listen to an audio and the duration of the audio will be 30 to 90 seconds. And in that time, you need to make notes of that audio what the narrator was speaking. After that, you get 10 second pause and you will hear a beep sound. Immediately after the beep sound, you will start recording your read a lecture related to what you heard and the points which you have made. Keeping the context intact. That is within 30 to 40 seconds. Is that clear? 
Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you. Right. So, uh, Mr. Anthony, look here. Sorry to interrupt. So, repeat sentences. Repeat sentences is more of like uh, we have to speak as is what we have heard, and retell lecture is something like the content is more uh, uh, driven here, right? Correct. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going off the webcam now. It is your chance where you will introduce yourselves. The people with the webcam, I would request everybody to please switch on your webcams. <coughs> Everyone, please come on the webcam. Yeah, Anthony, this is Satish here. I have problem with my webcam, so I don't think I can. Uh, come on. Yeah, yeah, no problem. The people who don't have webcam are Satesh, Sudha, and uh, Virendra. So it's fine with them, but others, please try to come on the webcam. And the people who do not have webcam, try to get connected because nowadays, uh, you know, we have technology. Let's use it to the maximum. Yeah. Okay. Let's start with the Mohammad Kashi, Kashif. Mohammad, I want you yes, to. Sir. Yeah, I want you to introduce yourself. You need to tell where you're from, what's your profession, which country you're planning for, and uh, what are their, uh, you know, hobbies. You can say one or two hobbies of yours. Yes, Kashif. Uh, my name is Kashif. Uh, yes, my name is Kashif. I've completed MBA. I'm working in a MNC company. I live in Delhi. And uh, my hobbies are uh, playing cricket, watching movies, and listening to music. That's it. Okay, Kashif, let me tell you, there is a uh, internet speed issue at your end. You to wait. Sometimes what happens is your voice is not properly heard. So you okay. need to check after the after the session. You can check by looking at the internet speed. Uh, everyone who are logging in online okay. should be aware that. They should have at least four Mbps to get connected. Uh, not only for get connected and listening to my sessions or seeing what I'm sharing, but also when you are asking questions, there should not be any kind of audio distortions. Thank you, Kashif. Thank you. Hello. Yeah. Okay, you can mute yourself, uh, Mohammad Kashif. Rahul, unmute. Yeah. Uh... Hi everyone, uh, my name is Rahul Mahajan, uh, born and brought up in uh, Mumbai, uh, earlier which was Bombay. So uh, I'm in Bangalore right now, uh, uh, I'm a science graduate, uh, I'm into IT, uh, I have about 15 to 18 years of IT experience. Uh, uh, most of my experience has been outside India, uh, just come back from the US. Uh, I'm moving to Australia. Uh, that's the primary reason for uh, doing the PT. I'm applying for the PR. Uh, hopefully, if everything works out, uh, I'll be moving uh, quite soon. All the best. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard, Rahul. Thanks a lot. Yep. Thanks, Rahul. You can mute yourself. Shravan. Shravan, unmute. Yep. Hi, hi, all. Uh, this is Shravan Kumar. Uh, I'm working in IIT. I have uh, eight years of experience. So I'm I'm looking for an Australian PR to elaborate and uh, work on IIT in Australia. So these are all my plans. I am based out of Hyderabad. So I'm working in Hyderabad only. All right. Thanks a lot, Shravan. All the best. Thank you. Hi, Tilak. Unmute. Hey Anthony. Hi all. Uh, my name is Tilak Nayan Boyna. Uh, I am basically a computer science graduate and uh, I have close to 13 years of uh, IT experience. I am and uh, I'm working in Hyderabad as of now. I am uh, approached by Axis uh, to uh, get the Australian PR visa done. So that's why I'm here to attending the PT uh, exam and then probably clear that and then uh, go to Australia. Thank okay, you. Okay, all the best. Yeah, yeah, all the best, Tilak. Yes, Joginder. Joginder, unmute. 
Okay, Satish, unmute. Yeah, uh, hi Anthony and hi friends. Uh, this is Satish Shetty. Uh, I'm an MBA graduate, uh, postgraduate in fact, and uh, I'm currently working with IBM as a project manager. And uh, I've, I've heard about Australia PR and a couple of my friends encouraged me to apply for it uh, based on the opportunities we have right now. So that's how I ended up, uh, you know, meeting my access and got this opportunity to, you know, uh, take this PT session so that I get that required magic figure of 79 that they are looking at from me. And hopefully things work out and I get an opportunity to work in Australia. And I'm from Hyderabad. And it's an overall experience I have in IT industry is 14 years. Thanks, guys. And all the best. Yeah. All the best, Satish. Welcome aboard. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Sudha, please unmute. Yes, Sudha, go ahead. Sudha, not able to hear you. So they are not able to hear you at all. Please check your uh, microphone connectivity. Virendra, unmute and start your introduction. Hi everyone. Good morning, Anthony. Good morning. Uh, hey. I am Virendra Prasad, based out in Bangalore. Uh, uh, same like Rahul, I have a 15 plus years of uh, IT experience. I have been come across with uh, uh, this uh, Australian PR. So I'm uh, very keen and uh, looking for relocating to Australia. And uh, this is one of the uh, PTE's requirement as well to clear this PTE. So I'm just uh, joined to prepare for this. And I'm currently working in one of the MNCs in Bangalore. Thank you. Welcome aboard, you, welcome aboard. Hi, Joginder. Thank you, sir. Joginder, please uh, check if you are able to come on the webcam. Yeah, I'm here. Ah, yeah, yeah, welcome. Yes, Joginder, introduce yourself. Hi, Anthony. Hi, all. Um, I'm Joginder here. Uh, I'm actually working uh, I'm on a post-graduate in management. I'm, uh, with, uh, and, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, the PT exam for PR visa. Okay. So, all the best, everyone. Welcome aboard Hello. once again. Hi, Sudha here. Can you yes. able to hear me? Yes, I can hear yeah. you now. Yeah, hi everyone. I am Sudha Shalini, working in an MNC company located in Coimbatore in the state Tamil Nadu. I am looking for Australian PR and for which PT is one of the uh, criteria for which, which I have to complete. That's why I am here. Thank you. Okay, welcome, welcome Shalini. Uh, yes, now we have known each other. We have two more people in the class who will also introduce themselves, please. Yeah, you will be heard by the other team members. Uh, hi everyone, I'm uh, Akshay Kumar. I'm from Hyderabad. Uh, I have uh, completed my IT and then I have two years of experience in it. And uh, uh, I'm trying for Canadian uh, uh, to for my higher studies. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> A uh, few of the universities there accept PTE, so uh, that's a criteria. Uh, so we have Akshay Kumar from the film industry today with us. No, not from the film industry. Oh, not from the film industry. Oh, <laughs> I was just thinking, you know, so <laughs> you are from the film industry. Okay, fine. Thanks a lot. Please sit down. Thank you. Hey, hi, Hal. Uh, my name is Srinivas. I have uh, IT experience of uh, around 12 years. Um, and, uh, and also, I'm interested to take up the PR for Australia. <coughs> you need to speak loud because your microphone has to record, not only here in the examination. Sure, sure. I want to uh, go for Australia, so where I want to clear this PTE exam. So that's why I'm here. Thank you all. Welcome aboard, everyone. Thanks a lot. And everybody who on the webcam can please switch off your webcam. And yes, if you want to know anything about me, I'll give you just about three to four minutes to ask me questions about me, and I will answer you. you take a PTE test? I did. Uh, what's the score? Just about 86, that's all. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Because that's one of the criteria to get certified as a trainer. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anthony, how long you've been doing this? 
from the day uh, PT started in India. It's way back in 2010. Okay. My target is 90. Oh, you can help me, right? I'll tell you what. 90, we have seen our candidates getting it. Not one or two, but plenty of them got 90. And if you have determination and practice, I'm sure that you know you can supersede that and get into the band of 90s or a group of people who have got 90s. <laughs> no, I, I, I already know I can do it. I just need your help. <laughs> definitely, definitely. You ask me any number of questions, I will try to help you in getting yourself uh, you know, corrected and then doing the best way possible. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yep. Anthony, uh, Tilak here. So, uh, yeah, yeah um, like you said, uh, the benchmark is 65 uh, for the, uh, you know, the PR uh, visa, okay, and uh, 90 is for the uh, study purpose visa. So, if, what if you get more than 65, like 80 or 70 or that, will that uh, increase our chances of picking up the uh, application by the uh, Australian government? Definitely, definitely. See, the minimum requirement for masters in any country should be 58 out of 90. Okay, okay. That's, the, that's the borderline. Now, for PR or work visa, the borderline is 65 out of 90. Now, in some cases, like Rahul or somebody told us that they required 79 depending upon the, uh, there's points that they've already secured by their evaluation, which your consultant might have already spoken to you about. Now, if you score beyond your requirement, that is only going to be add value to you, but it will not reduce anything at all. So, if you, they are, you need to ensure that your benchmark has been, or your requirement has to be superseded at all given time. And I'm sure you guys can do it. All right. Thanks, Anthony. You're welcome. Yes, any more questions? Uh, hi, Anthony. Yeah, this is Shravan. Yes, Shravan. Hello. Yeah, yeah, tell me, Shravan. Yeah, is there any manual? Yeah, yeah, is there any book or a manual to prepare? Uh, because, you know, as you go by day by day, do we get a manual from uh, you? Or, uh, you know, do we need to purchase from outside? Which is the recommended for you? The don't best manual for PT? Don't worry about that. If you remember a few minutes ago, I was telling you to log into learning management system. Okay, that is where we have stored your practice right. material for 20 sessions. And also we get this recording session. No, no, not every day. Not every day. Only the day when you miss, that is for three times. If you miss a session, you will get the recording. I will get all this information. Yeah, yeah, whatever we share it here will show up in that thing. That is only the day when you miss out. Yeah, yeah any more questions? Uh, Anthony, is that material is accessible at any time? Yeah, yeah, any time. That is available for 60 days from today. Okay. All right. So it will be available for 60 days. What more? Do you all have any more questions before we start? Continue. So once. Since nobody has any questions, let's move on to the next slide. So in this next slide, we're going to look at some of the evaluation and the way we need to give out our personal introduction. Though it is not evaluated, we need to ensure that we need to give out the best result. Now, whatever you people have introduced, you can always be making it better and better while you are practicing. Because for people who are going for education to an abroad country, most of the time, the colleges or the universities that you apply would request for this introductory audio for them to understand what the candidate's mind is all about, how they feel about traveling, whether they are genuine enough or not. So they have their own reasons for asking this recording. Am I clear, everyone? Am I clear? Yes. Yes. It is not for actually, uh, people who are going for work. Now, when we are talking about read, uh, uh, read aloud as a first subsection in the uh, speaking module, we have to understand few points that needs to be kept, kept in our mind all the time. First thing is, please make sure that you uh, speak in a natural pace, which should not have too much of high frequency rate. 
in short your greater speech should be normal at the same time you need to have a pro proper clarity of speech word pronunciation and pauses please remember when we speak there is a possibility that we need to also keep a watch on how many words it could be because don't forget we have to complete it within 30 to 40 seconds so when we look at 30 to 40 seconds we should not be making any of those kind of mistakes especially when we look at uh, you know reading a longer paragraph that is the time that we might speak fast but at the same time you need to also know where to pause right for example the passage will not be exceeding 60 words if it is 58 words, make sure that you pause one second for a comma or a semicolon. For a full stop, pause for two seconds. Is that clear, everyone? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. The second thing we need to keep in mind is, let's say that we are approaching one word before the comma or a, or a full stop. The last few letters of that last word before a comma or a full stop, drop your tone. In short, we are working on the voice modulation to bring the proper intonation in place so that your oral fluency affects to a greater extent in contributing to the best of the scores. Because we also have six parameters that evaluate your entire examination and contribute to the, contribute to the final scores of each module. Now, what are they? What are they? Now we have uh, scoring in two different categories. One is communicative skill and one is enabling skill. Now communicative skills are module wise like reading, writing, listening and speaking. Okay. Now enabling skills that contribute to the communicative skills are grammar, pronunciation, oral fluency, spellings, vocabulary, and written discourse. Is that clear everyone? Is that clear? Antony, yes, can sir. you repeat? Can you repeat no, enabling no. skill parameters? Yes, I will. The first parameter is grammar. The second parameter is pronunciation. Third one is oral fluency. Fourth one is spellings. Fifth one is vocabularies and the last one will be written discourse. Now grammar. <clears throat> grammar means we need to frame sentences in a proper manner using the grammar rules. In short, parts of speech, sentence formation, Tenses in that uh, uh, sentences according to the context. And in speaking, what are the parameters that is going to be evaluated in the entire speaking module are grammar, pronunciation, oral fluency, and vocabulary. Am I clear, everyone? Hello? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, since we are started with the speaking module, we'll only concentrate on speaking for this week. Next week, when we go to writing, we will concentrate on writing also. All right. Now, in addition to all these things which we discussed, I'm going to show you a paragraph which you will be asked to give. You'll be given 40 seconds to look at the paragraph. And in the next 40 seconds, I will ask you to read them loud. Am I clear, everyone? Hello? Yes. All right. Yes, we are. Okay, Joginder, please unmute. Satish Ravan, please mute. Joginder, you are seeing, you are able to see the paragraph? Yes, I am able to see the paragraph. Okay, wherever there is a comma, you need to pause for one second. Wherever there is a full stop, you need to pause for two seconds. You will be getting the first 40 seconds to look at the paragraph and when you are looking at the paragraph, concentrate on the commas where you need to pause. At the same time, words which you think can be a challenge for you to pronounce it properly. So that is how you will quickly glance through the paragraph 
and immediately after the 40th second, I will ask you to start reading. Your time starts now. Start. One of the most popular natural dandruff remedies, uh, coconut oil, can help reduce some of the yeast that contributes to plagues, explains Geeta Shah, MD, a Maryland-based dermatologist. She recommends massaging a small amount into your scalp and leaving it there for at least 15 to 20 minutes. The longer the better, she says. Some people even leave it on overnight with a towel towel or shower cap so that it penetrates a little deeper. More than 40 seconds but there were a little bit of fumbling. It's absolutely fine. Day one, it is as expected. But overall, if you look at it, you have done a very uh, good job in doing it, I mean reading it, without much of, uh, you know, uh, pronunciation issues. However, please do not repeat a word when you make a mistake, okay? Keep going on because time is a, is your biggest enemy. So you need to conquer the enemy by repeating. You will only be falling a prey to the time that is clicking. All right. Okay. So here, when you were reading, after flakes, the pause was in a hurry. And then when you were pausing at, uh, you know, the better, the last second line, there it was a haste pause. However, you fumbled on overnight, okay, where you had to repeat. Just keep a watch on them, keep practicing as much as you can. Thank you, Joginder. Rahul, unmute. Okay, shall I start? Yeah. One of the most popular natural dandruff remedies, coconut oil can help reduce some of the yeast that contributes to flakes explains Geeta Shaha, MD, a Maryland-based dermatologist. She recommends massaging a small amount into the scalp and leaving it there for at least 15 to 20 minutes. The longer the better, she says. Some people even leave it on overnight with a towel or shower cap so it penetrates a little deeper. <clears throat> you were a little faster. Can you slow down a little bit? It was okay. 26 seconds. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Read again. Little slower. Okay. One of the most popular natural dandruff remedies, coconut oil, can help reduce some of the yeast that contributes to flakes, explains Geeta Shaha, MD, a Maryland based dermatologist. She recommends massaging a small amount into your scalp and leaving it there for at least 15 to 20 minutes. The longer the better, she says. Some people even leave it on overnight with a towel or shower cap so it penetrates a little deeper. Wonderful, 38 seconds. Right? So okay. you understand how important we need to ensure when we are practicing this way. Okay, so whenever we get these kind of paragraphs, make sure that you record yourself on a phone and see whether you are meeting the requirement of all the pauses wherever necessary. The second point that you need to look at is whether you are fulfilling the requirement of 30 to 40 seconds which is necessary. Third, you need to see whether your pronunciation had some issues in between which was not clear enough in your recording. <coughs> So if you are able to meet these three requirements, I'm sure that your first level of learning will be better. Now the second thing is very important. While we are reading, if we happen to skip one word in between, one word in between by chance, so you will get less marks in the grammar criterion because we are making a grammatical error in completing a sentence. Now, how will my scores be calculated? We will learn that also in a while. 
and maybe tomorrow I will explain in more detail on the things that we are looking at. But let me try to ask few more people to read another paragraph. Satish Shetty, please unmute. Rahul, please mute. Thanks. Satish, you get 40 seconds to look at the paragraph and I'll tell you when to start. Start. Smartphones have become an everyday essential for millions of us. We rely on them for everything from upgrading our social media profiles to banking, taking out a smartphone contract that bundles together your calls. Data and text with the cost of the headset can help speed the cost, but can also mean you all pay more over the long run. You are too fast. And uh, it is not upgrading, it is updating. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah, and it is texts, not text, because I heard it as text. Okay. Right? Start once again, slow down a little bit. Smartphones have become an everyday essential for millions of us. We rely on them for everything from updating our social media profiles to banking, taking out a smartphone contract that bundles together your calls, data, and texts where the cost of the headset can help speed the cost, but can also mean you'll pay more over the long run. Yeah, this is much better. Just 32 seconds, but it's okay. Now, okay. when we are reading, you know, pauses definitely plays an important role to control your time management. Now I understand the first sentence is a pretty long one. So here in these situations, if you find that there is a sentence which does not have a comma in between, you use your breathing pattern to pause. And that is going to be acceptable. It should not sound as if you are making an additional effort to uh, read out a sentence in a single breath. Right? Yeah. Is that clear everyone? Yes. All right. Fine, Sravan. Yes. <clears throat> start. Shall, shall. Can I start? Yeah, yeah, start. Smartphones has have become an everyday essential. Yeah. Smartphones have become an everyday essential for slow, millions slow, of slow. us. We slow rely down. on them for everything from Sravan, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Relax. Okay, okay. Okay. Start. We rely on them for everything from updating our social media profile to banking. Taking out a smartphone contract that bundles together your calls, data and text with the cost of the headset can help spread the cost but can also mean you will pay more over the long run. Okay, Sravan, let me tell you, you need to control at your patience level. You know, sometimes we get nervous and due to which we read out very fast. Now, when you were reading, it says profiles, right. not profile. It is not headset, it is handset. Okay. Hello. Yes. And just be okay. more patient. Uh, don't feel, uh, you know, nervous. Yes, yes. Just control. Just control. Okay. So normally, when these kind of paragraphs come in, we need to have okay, to analyze how long is the paragraph and accordingly how we need to read. Maybe we can look at reading it in different ways. You know, try to practice because this is the beginning day. I don't expect perfection to come in now. So at least an understanding makes it perfect the way we have to look at it. Smartphones have become an everyday essentials for millions of us. We rely on them for everything from updating our social media profiles to banking. 
taking out a smartphone contract that bundles together our calls, data, and texts with the cost of handset can help spread the cost, but can also mean you'll pay more over the long run. Is that clear, everyone? Yes. yes. Now, what we did is, yes, Anthony. we created as if it is our script which we created. So, you need to start getting used to that. So, not to worry how to do it and what to do it. Start reading any newspaper, especially recommended one is Times of India to begin with. Try to read them loud. Maybe half a page, not the political news, but any other news. Okay, half a page of something loud. When you're reading loud, you know, you will be able to identify which are the areas you're running fast, which areas you're struggling to pronounce or repeat yourself. Okay, you will try to control. A couple of days of practice will make you uh, aware of your fluency, how to control your rate of speech when the paragraph is longer, how to control when the paragraph is smaller. Hence, we need to get ourselves acquainted with various kinds of approach the way we are going to practice. Am I clear, everyone? Am I clear? Hello? Yes, Anthony. Okay, we have another paragraph for uh, Sudha. Yeah. Yeah. Start. The Soviet Union launched the probe module of the Mir space station in Feb 1986. It was enlarged several times so that it could accommodate a crew of up to six cosmonauts. The Mir program was enhanced by having international teams conduct experiments at the station. Afghanistan, Bulgaria, France, Germany, Great Britain, India, Japan, Syria and the United States. In addition to Russia and other nations that were formerly part of the Soviet Union participated. It is pretty decent when it comes to pronunciation, no much issues at all. Yeah. One area little faster could have brought you to 40 seconds. We were just on 40 second second. That is 42 seconds is what you covered. But otherwise you need to be conscious and cautious about the areas and the words that you are going to read. Is that clear everyone? Okay. I have two people in the class, Tilak and Virendra. I will give you the opportunity tomorrow as we are running short of time. And we will continue with what we are supposed to be doing in this session from tomorrow onwards. So tomorrow we will not have any more introductions of the company or myself. Uh, we will have more of practices coming into existence. And when we practice us, uh, uh, according to the modules, we will identify our areas. I will give you feedback to every individual in each and every module. Today we have done with read aloud. I would request you all to start getting used to reading loud the newspapers. Don't look at the length of the paragraph, but try to get used to getting a fluent language in place. Till tomorrow, have a wonderful time. But before I sign off, do you guys have any questions for me? No, thanks for the day. All right. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye bye. I want you all to give me your photographs.